into place, apparently amid fears that mainland buyers were sap and dry their supplies in Hong Kong. And since the restrictions, people have been fined and even arrested for carrying more baby milk than they are allowed. But as uh, how do you find out, it's still too early to call it mission accomplished. It's a cash-only transaction. No questions asked, no probes welcomed. At the Luofu port in Shenzhen, a port of entry into Hong Kong, just walking by casually and you'll see goods and cash exchange hands the way you see in an organized crime movie. But the reality is far more innocent. Selling like hot cakes here are baby milk formula bought in Hong Kong. Last month, authorities in Hong Kong banned travelers leaving the city with more than 1.8 kilograms of baby milk formula. Apparently to ward off milk craving mainlanders worried about food safety at home. But with a huge customer base ready to shell out big bucks, profit-seeking merchants are coming up with new ways to beat the system. You don't need my cell phone number. I'm here every day. 170 yuan a can. Tens of thousands of people travel between Shenzhen and Hong Kong daily. The idea is to get enough people to carry a can or two, and there won't be a shortage of baby formula from Hong Kong despite the restrictions. And on the internet, there are already posts calling on people to carry a can of milk powder whenever they travel from Hong Kong to the mainland. Even if they don't need it themselves, they can always sell it to those in need. Now at the cross-boundary tunnel between Shenzhen and Hong Kong, Besides drugs and other regular contraband, Hong Kong authorities have also stepped up inspection on baby milk formula. According to Hong Kong Customs Authorities, 499 people were arrested and 2,100 kilograms of baby formula confiscated as a result of the new regulations. Meanwhile, industry insiders say the prices of baby formula both smuggled in from Hong Kong and legally imported from abroad have shot up 20 to 30 percent on the Chinese mainland. Legal experts say though the way the transactions are conducted may look a bit shady, as far as they see, the baby milk carriers are not breaking any laws. Wahadri.